Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Short and Sweet. My name is Jose Moreno. I'm one of the associate consultants with the Concentris team. Uh, today, I wanted to show you guys uh, the NetSuite Smart Count application. And I wanted to do maybe a quick uh, hands-on demonstration of how it works and what it can do for you. So if you have the NetSuite WMS license, uh, this Smart Count application comes included with that license. And if you've seen our previous videos, you'll see that I covered the other NetSuite uh, counting process uh, in WMS. Uh, so there's two processes, uh, distinct processes for counting inventory uh, using NetSuite WMS. Uh, this is sort of the latest and greatest. Uh, from NetSuite, and it will continue to get updates as as the uh, software matures. But one of the good things I like about Smart Count is it allows you to perform blind counts on inventory. So when you assign counts out to the warehouse operators, uh, the system's not telling them, you know, how much is going to be in a given bin. It's going to be a true, honest blind count of what's there, uh, which is good for auditing. Uh, of course, you can also generate uh, directed counts and uh, based on save searches. So if you look at the account configuration uh, record I have here, uh, you can see that it's save search based. And I'll come back here on this one uh, in a minute to show you how it works. The other um, benefit that I like about Smart Count is, of course, you can do uh, spot counts. So you don't necessarily have to create a count task. If you need to count something, uh, you can just do a count on the fly and go ahead and count it through the mobile application. Uh, of course, you can also perform counts at any point during the day. So you don't necessarily have to uh, pause your operations in order to perform a count. You can start a count at any time and the system will notify you if the on-hand quantity changes. And the, from there, you have a um, decision to make if you want to continue with the count or if you want to start the, re, uh, start the count again. Uh, another useful feature it has is that uh, you can also set up uh, auto approval. So uh, you can define variances and tolerances for those variances. Uh, so typically, I don't recommend this one if you're just starting uh, to use the solution, but definitely something that you can work towards. Uh, but without further ado, right, so we're looking at uh, a NetSuite demo environment I have here. And what you're seeing is one of the account configuration records that you can create. And all this is, is just going to be a basic record uh, that instructs Smart Count on what we're going to be counting uh, and when we're going to be counting that, if you want to go to that length as well. Uh, but this is sort of the default count that comes included. And as you look here, you can see that we define an account uh, that's going to be impacted in the event that there's an inventory adjustment um, as a result of one of the cycle counts that we perform. But if you look at it over here, you'll see that it's pretty much going to be based on a safe search, right? So if you open that safe search, all it is, it's an item search and what I do like about it is it can be very robust. So you can have different types of counts to count different types of items. So if you think about uh, maybe you want to uh, generate accounts for a specific product line uh, or a specific uh, type of item, uh, because it's safe search based, you can pretty much pull in uh, the various different fields, whether they're native uh, to NetSuite or whether they're custom fields uh, to help you shortlist and filter the items that you want to count. Right. But essentially what this search does is it shows us the items that we have to account or the uh, items that are due for account. So daily, uh, Smart Count will run a, uh, an automation, a scheduled script uh, to generate the count tasks uh, for the warehouse operators. Right. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it and uh, jump into the mobile application to show you how it works. So if I go to this tab here, of course, if you're using WMS or Ship Central, you have those applications here. Um, basically what you're seeing here is a mobile emulator. Uh, so the idea with a WMS system is that you're gonna be using it on the floor uh, through using a handheld uh, with the scanner, right? But in this case, I don't have one on me, but we do have the uh, mobile emulator that allows us to sort of play with it uh, in a browser window. Uh, of course, if I go to Smart Count, and from here, first thing we'll do is we'll just pick our location. 
right? And then notice a couple of things. Uh, you can actually select which count configuration you want to count. Uh, so if you're doing by product type, uh, you, um, you know, you can definitely go here and uh, select that specific uh, count configuration record. And then NetSuite will uh, filter the tasks uh, based on that count configuration record, right? The other thing you'll notice here is we have the list of all the items that we have to count. Some of these are serialized. Some of these are just regular inventory items. Uh, you do have some lotted inventory items. Uh, but the idea here is that uh, we have the bins, uh, we have the items, we have a few other uh, columns as well. And last but not least, you have the spot count button at the bottom here. So if you're wanting to count something on the fly, you can just hit the spot count button and then that directs you to perform a spot count. So for this demonstration, what I want to show you guys is uh, I'm going to count one of these items and I'm just going to pick uh, this item here. So if I click count, right, that takes us to the count task. And sort of the first thing I'll do here is I will scan the bin. So NetSuite uh, will tell us what bin uh, we should go and count to. And of course, when we go to that bin, we do have to scan it to confirm that we are at that location. So I'll do that and then I'll scan it. And then from there, the next part is that we scan the item we're going to be counting. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll just uh, sort of scan the item. And once I start um, scanning the item, now I have to count it. Now, of course, um, if you have tally scan enabled, uh, NetSuite will start to um, count the quantity here. But if you want to override that, uh, you can do that at this point as well. A few things I want to call uh, out is you can actually uh, pause the count task and then come back later. Uh, to finish it. Um, so if you have maybe a large number of inventory or product that you have to count, uh, you can go ahead and pause it, go do something else and take care of something else and then come back and finish it. Um, you'll also notice a remarks button here, which allows us to enter any count comments. Uh, so for instance, um, you know, if there's anything that is uh, damaged or maybe um, anything worthy of note, you can note it here and it will be communicated to whoever's approving the count. So that uh, can be useful. And Last but not least, of course, you do have the inventory status. Um, if you don't use inventory status, you won't necessarily have to worry about this too much. But if you do, you can uh, select the inventory status uh, for that particular product that you are going to be counting. Uh, so if you're counting defective inventory, uh, you can specify the inventory status here. What I'll do here is I will go ahead and click on this total quantity counted, and I'm just going to count 500. Once I do that, uh, I'll go ahead and click complete. Right. Uh, so once I do that, that's pretty much it uh, from the warehouse operator's perspective. I can continue to count more items, uh, you know, from this list. And then eventually uh, these items are going to be routed to uh, a warehouse manager who's going to review this and either decide whether it will be approved uh, or whether it will be uh, rejected and sent back for recount. Um, so let's go ahead and swap our hats and sort of take the uh, role of a warehouse manager. Let me go back into NetSuite. And if you go into NetSuite, uh, the warehouse manager will have access to a smart count dashboards, which will help them uh, sort of get an overview of what's been counted, uh, what is uh, you know waiting to be approved, uh, and uh, various metrics like that. Uh, so this is sort of the page where we approve or reject or suggest a recount for a specific uh, item. You can see here that no data is available, uh, but if I click refresh, Right. And this is going to take a little while to run since this is a demo environment. But you can see here, uh, now that I've submitted that count, it's going to be listed right here as a KPI or a key performance indicator. And you can see that we have one unapproved count. Uh, and then we have a few other um, key metrics that we can review there. Uh, of course, you have all these filters that you can use to shortlist. Uh, so if you imagine, you know, you have a warehouse with thousands of items, um, hundreds of items being counted every day, uh, this dashboard here can be very helpful 
to help you shortlist uh, items by different uh, classifications and categories. But for our purpose, we'll see that the product uh, that I just counted is listed here. And you have a couple of columns here. And then from here, it uh, looks like I counted 500. And actually, the system determined there's no variance. Right, so I will go ahead and click that and click approve. Of course, I could reject it or I could suggest a recount. Um, so in the event that someone counts inventory um, and they there's a, some sort of variance, you can either reject the variance or you can suggest a recount just to double check and make sure that the inventory is actually off. Uh, or you can approve it uh, if the inventory is actually off. And if you do approve it, uh, Smart Count is able to generate an inventory adjustment transaction to write off the inventory. But what I'll do here is I'll click approve. And of course, uh, for audit purposes, I can decide uh, to enter comments uh, here. Um, typically, you're not going to be entering comments if there's no variance. Uh, but if in the event of a variance, you can definitely uh, write down the comments here or any justifications that are required. All right, so once it's approved, uh, this one has been submitted. Um, of course, this is sort of the main dashboard where we will review um, counts that are uh, pending approval. Um, and then you do have another dashboard that also provides you an overview of different uh, metrics. Uh, so let me show you that. It's going to be this one. And if I click refresh, this one comes out of the box. And so it can be very helpful in showing you different uh, metrics, um, you know, what item counts are pending approval, what's due today, uh, what items are due to count for the last 30 days. You have a decent number of metrics here that can, that are useful in sort of uh, showing you various statistics um, on inventory counts and cycle counts. One thing I like about this is if you have multiple locations, uh, you can also always uh, filter and only show that specific location's uh, metrics. All right, so if I wanted to just show the US one location, I can select it and then NetSuite will um, go ahead and filter out everything and only show me that specific location. All right, um, so that was just a quick, uh, quick short and sweet bite on Smart Count. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, as I mentioned, there is another process WMS offers. So you definitely have a, a good number of options for how you want to do uh, inventory cycle counts. Uh, so if you haven't watched the other video, I definitely recommend you go and take a look at that uh, and then take a look at this one, of course, and then see if it'll be helpful for you. But in any case, if you like this content, feel free to uh, like, the, like the video, uh, comment, down below and subscribe. Thank you.